Hey guys, what is going on here? This is Mark, and I wanted to just show you this photo here. This is off of the photography and mentoring website or the uh, Facebook group. And this is from Thailand, and she says, "Any tips on how to save this session? I feel like you want to cry. I like." I feel like I've messed this up so bad. This is actually not that bad of a shot. It is straight out of camera from her. I did ask her to send it me so I can work on it and we're all here and see what we can do. There's not much that I would really do with this. There's maybe a couple things, just maybe contrast the mountains a little bit. It's a pretty location uh, for a shoot if you like Christmas trees. So let's go ahead and see what I'm going to do here. First thing I would do is get out of the way is start with your enable profile correctness. If you want to do the uh, remove uh, chromatic aberration, you can also do that. Just make sure that it's a it's to the profile. Now this lens looks like, yeah, 35 millimeter, and it's a 1.8 lens, so that's the, uh, that's a pretty good lens to be shooting with, but the great thing about it that you did there is you did bump it up to about 2.5 with this portrait session. You got a little bit of distance in between uh, parents, the kids in the front. Uh, one five hundredth of a second, ISO is 100. There's not much more you can do there. You sh you're shooting with that sun directly at your back. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what we got to do. I usually work my way top down, and I'll find a white balance spot. I'll try right here on her shirt. Uh, makes it a little bit green, makes it a little bit that, but I think the skin tones for right now, we'll leave it just as that uh, to go through. Uh, and I lied to you a little bit here. The first thing you want to do is, if you have a hazy shot like this and you're trying to get that haze out of there, or if you want that haze out of there, I know it's probably not the desired shot that you're looking for. You probably wanted that nice, pr pretty sun-kissed shot with, um, with the sun coming in from the background there. And I do want to apologize in advance. I do have a printer going in the background if I didn't already say that. So I, what I did here is I pushed up the dehaze here by 0.33, as you can see. You can bring that down even more. It's going to just kind of muddy up the image there. But let's go, if you go this way, you can go backwards. But working in Lightroom, uh, these are going to be the tools that you need. If you want to bring it to Photoshop and do a little bit more, you can. So let's put that up to 0.33 or 35, somewhere around that area right there. Now let's start working our way down. A lot of times what I do is I hit auto. I really do, because then it pushes things in the right direction. I can get rid of uh, like the blacks if I want to. Uh, I can bump up the shadows here and then warm it up even a little bit more if I want to. All right, so highlights are one of the issues that we were having trouble with and then a contrast. So I'm gonna bump that up because later on we're gonna actually reduce that contrast. And just to help this shot a little bit more, I'm gonna push the clarity in there just a tiny bit. And I have a cool little preset over here that is, uh, that's called color cast, fix reds a little. And what that does is it gives just a negative four and negative nine on the oranges there and the reds respectively so we got that done now the next thing I want to do on this one is I want to get rid of I can get rid of the yellows you can see that it's gonna probably dress this image up a little bit here I want to get rid of the yellows that are on the trees but it's still gonna retain a little bit in that skin tones if I turn down the greens here I can really get uh, kinda like a I guess it would be like a Douglas fir but I'm not gonna turn it all the way down uh, that's all I'm gonna need to do right here if you want to bump up their skin just a little bit you can come over here to the luminance and just go into the oranges or in the uh, oranges there. I put these in kind of extreme so you can see what's going on. So you can bump that up just a little bit, maybe to like 0.15. I don't recommend going over like 25, uh, just because you don't want to um, you don't want to blow it out too much because then it starts getting kind of noisy there. All right, next step we're going to do is we're going to grab a brush, and let me double check that before I go through all of this here. Uh, vibrance, yes, okay. So same thing here. You can work with vibrance a little bit if you felt like you lost a little bit. You can do that. And what I'm doing is I am working into this section right here. This is all I look at when I edit the photo, because then I can go later with a local adjustment and a brush and get rid of things that I don't want. All right, next step. Uh, their skin tones are looking good right there. Uh, it doesn't have redness in the ears because the sun coming back. The next step I want to do is I want to work on this background. I'm going to do exposure down to like 0.5, somewhere around there. I'm going to do a little bit extreme. Uh, highlights down to like 20s. Uh, you can do shadows up just a little bit, but I recommend just, you know, want to darken this down. Let me get rid of that color. I'll paint it in with the color so you can see where I'm painting first. I don't have a mask on, but I was painting in color just a minute ago. All right, so we've got that. Let's turn this color off. Let me show you what that, do that did there. And so what that's going to do is that's going to darken that background down just a little bit. So your, your couples are kind of uh, your subject there, obviously, and they're going to glow a little bit more. Okay, so let's go back into the brush. I'm going to make sure we don't have anything here. We're going to go in real close on here because I like to get uh, kind of sloppy. I don't use the auto mask on these. You're going to get kind of sloppy in there. And then uh, down here we'll undo anything that we got over their faces, shrinking that brush a little bit into their heads. And I got, uh, I overlapped myself just a little bit. So let's go back over. I'm going to do that. I'm going to come in here. 
I don't want a halo or anything like that, so that's one of the things that I'm trying to prevent right here, is getting like a halo around their face or on their heads so that uh, when you are looking at this photo, you can tell that it has obviously been edited. Okay. Now, there's a little bit of issues coming in with the sky up here that I don't really care about uh, when I use that brush on there, so I'm going to just kind of paint that out, and then if I need to come back in and do a couple branches on its own, I will. Same thing here. Let's get rid of this guy right here. We've got this shot right here. Again, we'll look at before and after. Uh, I'm doing this kind of rough here, and normally I will take a little bit more time and concern into it uh, for you. But for the tutorial, you can kind of see. Now you can start playing with any of these blacks that you want to. Turn your highlights down even a little bit more. Just watch your sky. Uh, and do a little bit more contrast until you feel fit. And then the last step that I love doing, and it sounds weird, is I'm going to take the contrast and turn it all the way down. Uh, let me just do it this way. So we're going to do contrast and turn that all the way down. And then we're going to come back in, and weirdly enough, you're going to paint the back. And what this is going to do is it's going to bring back some of that contrast uh, into the negative side and give you just a little bit more soft and dreamy kind of feel, if you will. And you don't have to do much of that there. And if you want to do now, if you want to take the sharpness, you can turn the sharpness down. Or if you want to have a little bit more of the uh, background kind of fuzzy with like a depth of field look, and this 35 should have done that. Uh, but did not uh, what we can do is we can turn down the clarity if you want to I don't really recommend doing it like that but you don't you don't want to mess with that too much because that one kind of makes it kind of too too weird take your sharpness and turn it down that's going to give you a better depth of field blur than the clarity so you can see right here you can crank it up but if you turn that down just a little bit give you more of that depth of field feel in the background back there all right so I'm going to turn that to like 39 or so and another thing I might want to do here is if you're interested in it, you can tone down those greens once again, if you'd like to, and come in and just make sure that, that you get, again, even with that brush there, you don't want to get too much of a halo with the greens there, because I did miss some spots. We're going to go right into here, and in between here, and that looks pretty good. Uh, there's before, uh, kind of an after. I, I really think it's just because you have a lot of... Um, uh, we're, we're pushing a lot of shadows up in this one, and that's what's causing a lot of the flatness of this image here. Uh, but just to recover it in Lightroom, that's not too bad there. Again, if, uh, uh, if I did run my presets through it and I would do it on mine, here's what would happen. Alright, so we got this shot. This is the reset shot. Let me undo that so I can just not lose that image so we can look at it again and we're going to create another virtual copy um, let me see what I would push on this one here we can do a uh, preset like that a little shallow soft and then I would just take down saturation as needed uh, highlights as needed and exposure as needed and then I would just take in again, and if needed, come in here and brush over the faces uh, with some type of a little bit of brighter uh, highlight only burn. Good. If needed, like that. There we go. So now with that preset that I did, you can see they're relatively close. I did a manual one and then one of the presets, a little bit more contrast in it, uh, but you can see the differences in those two images there. Very similar to the editing of what I would have done. Just again, more contrast on it. Uh, and you can always turn that down. So there's that. And I bet that my preset will look very similar to my manual one. Yeah, it does, as you can see right there. Just a little bit more in the faces. And that's what I would come in and do afterwards. So uh, sorry this is a long, long video. This is going to be about 20 minutes long. Uh, hope this helps out. And thanks again for watching. See you later.